Good day everybody, this is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Horus Heresy Legions. And today we're going to be doing a deck on the Warmaster himself, Horus. Now, uh, Horus dropped in the shop yesterday. I think he's no longer... Oh yeah, he's still available right now as I'm recording this video. But I think by the time the video is up, he will no longer be at the shop. So, I hope that you guys grab them while you had the chance. So, I'm going to make a deck on Horus, because I was always excited to pull this Primarch, which I never really got to do, because I have all the other three, like Fulgrim, Mortarion, um, Angron, but I never got to get Horus. But, now that I have him, I really do want to make a deck for uh, him. So, let's search Horus, get the correct one, and let's start building the deck. Now, guys, as you know... Um, Pretty much with Horus, the whole point is that, first of all, he's got 40 HP and high initiative, which already makes him very good. But the main thing about Horus is that he has that ability to give a Mark of Chaos and plus one, plus one to a unit for two energy. That is absolutely great. And on top of that, he also has the uh, transformation, Whispers of Chaos, at 18 cost which gets a minus two every time a unit receives a Mark of Chaos. So pulling his transformation, just like all the other three uh, new uh, Primarchs from this expansion, is very, very easy. So we're going to make a deck that focuses on that. Of course, you can still play Horus like you play Abaddon with uh, Malagurst into Planetary Invasion, but we're not going to do that bullshit. We're going to play this guy in a more, um, let's say, uh, standard way. So first off, of course, we're going to get our Avatar of the Four because there's literally no reason not to have Avatar of the Four because it basically gets, gets grants you one turn of survival, which is always good. Now, for Sons of Horus, this line right here is absolutely perfect. You need Furious Shooting because it's two energy, three damage and can be used for burst and can be used for removal. This is absolutely great. You want to have Lead the Spear Tip because it draws Spear Tip troops and makes them cheaper, which is always welcome. Uh, and Legionary Her is good because this is a flank unit and if you combo this with like uh, Horus mm, Mark of Chaos, this has like uh, potential to be become like a 5-4 or something similar. So, uh, or even, even like 6-4. This uh, unit can become super strong if you buff it and it's just a removal card so it's in general good. Menato Squad is absolutely crazy because if you drop this... And your opponent cannot remove it and you buff it with the Mark of Chaos. This becomes absolute hell. Because this is like the old Dusturk squad. But this also... Not also, but this damages the enemy Warlord. So this is a very strong offensive card. Basat squad is very important. Uh, because it gets the resolution to get the Mark of Chaos. Which is great because it synergizes with Horus. Of course, we want Chieftain Clethal. Just because of the stats and the Brapod. Very hard to remove. So I'll definitely get that. We could also think about uh, Ezraia support. Uh, reason why you usually want to play Ezraia support is that uh, these guys are an yet another low drop that you can keep buffing. So you can use this to just gain initiative and, you know, just um, control the board. You need the Catchul and Reavers. They're really good because they can go face instantly. And on top of that, you can buff them. And it's going to go absolutely crazy. You could also get the Asmodeal squad for more removal if you wish. Also uh, possible. We'll see if we'll replace them a, a little later. Uh, they're just like the um, Legionary Her. But they also get like um, the... What's it called? Battle Honor to get Marks of Chaos. You could have double Death Dealers. I personally would run one. Because it's not necessary to have a lot of those. Conquering Coast is extremely powerful. So this just drops like three Ajax squads. This is a great board control. And on top of that, it's also really good for... Um, it's also really good in general for having something to buff with Mark of Chaos. Chieftain squad could be good. But you're really relying on this to survive. So I'm not sure. <coughs> we'll think about that. You of course want Ekron Fall. If nothing, just for the stats... Crash the Weak for hard removal. Haxur Squad is great because it gets um, instantly it gets a Mark of Chaos. Overseer Ludark, obviously, once again, Mark of Chaos. You want a Luprical Prusivant, at least like one copy. And you know, then comes Malagurst with Planetary Invasion. But there's the thing. Um, Malagurst with Planetary Invasion is not that good on Horus because basically... I usually don't like this. Uh, it might seem counterintuitive, but if you're playing an early game Horus like this... 
chances are that you're gonna drop very useless units from um from playing planetary invasion malagurst you could play you could not play it's up to you i would even consider maybe uh, not including malagurst in the deck and maybe getting something else for example you could get the tishai all um like standard but there's also another thing here another good thing that you could do which i don't have is the world breaker world breaker can certainly be very good it's just that uh a i said i don't have it and b the other thing about that is that um, you can basically use that uh, against Jagatai, so I would definitely get it if I could, but I just don't have it. You could get a Crucial Choice if uh, if you don't have one. I I'm just not sure. So look at this. This only works on Astartes, so you cannot use it on Malkial and uh, Kaizu Lane. I'm sure you thought of that, but let's take a look at what else we can do. We could get a command bridge. We could get uh, perhaps. Um, well, what what can we get here? We could get a crucial choice if we want. There's really nothing to that synergizes with it too much. Anti stealth. You could get one single like copy of anti stealth if you wish. I guess. Yeah, you're gonna need anti stealth. You're gonna need a cop some type of anti stealth. I would say it's either Cal the Cowardice or but I would I would say maybe get an informant network in order to just maybe if you're playing against Conrad Curse or something like that, that could certainly be very useful. And what do we get as the last card? You know we could get a master strategist for card draw because you don't really want to run out of cards. I think that's pretty much it. So this is the deck that we're going to run. So very early game focused, as you can see. Early mid game. Uh, and we got some late game as well, but mostly you're gonna play it for Mark of Chaos and you're gonna play it very uh, aggressive. So let's choose a nice card back for that. What card back do we choose for Horus? Uh, do I have anything um, too good for Songs of Horus? I really don't think I do. Uh, you know what? Let's get this one. Simply because it looks cool. So, first of all, let us hope that uh, we do not have to search for a match for... Okay? We're not searching for five hours. Alright, so we got the chaos spawn. We're gonna uh, replace everything here. We're gonna... We wanna get some low-level units. There you go. There you go. Let the galaxy burn. Let the galaxy burn. Now, here's the thing. He can attack, so he will need to attack to remove this. So he will not be summoning any uh, any more of those annoying thingies. Uh-huh, there you go. And let's hope he doesn't drop something. If he doesn't drop something, Passat Squad it is. Uh, he drops something. That is very unfortunate. However, um... Passat squad, I guess. That is not good. He can sacrifice it now, but once again, he will have to attack. So I'll probably have to play Conquering Coast. Let's hope he doesn't get the blood. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Ooh. That is not good. That is not good at all. So what do we do about this? I think this is what we do. Oh, come on. What do you get the most useless shit possible? I needed at least one more HP. So, we're gonna need more removal because if he's planning to drop those demons, like, it's, it's gonna get a little scary. Very soon. Why? Oh god. That's a lot of degeneracy right there. So, conquering ghosts. Just took a lot of damage here, but at least I regained the board. I'm also gonna have Tishayal for uh, the next turn. 
I took too much damage. That thing alone dealt 18. That is not good. You cannot be serious now. Jesus, I hate those kinds of bullshit cards. Uh, okay, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chaos Spawn. Okay, he opens that up. Takes this out with the Warlord. Well, that's understandable. Nothing too crazy there. Okay. This is pretty good. This is gonna make it uh, able to take this out. Then we take this out. And bird control is once again ours. And we're getting close to ascension as well. So that's gonna be a little bit of healing. That is always welcome. Malkador's Observer. Okay, right, him getting 7 damage out of that is very unlikely, so, you know. Absolutely fine. Okay, here's the deal now. Uh, I'm not gonna give him any chances to regain the board. We're not giving him any chances to regain the board, else it's just a loss, if we do that. Crucial choice. What you get out of that, man? What you get out of that? Yeah. Oh, Overseer Ludark. Okay, okay. Okay, what's next? What's the maintenance on this thing? It's four. All right. So we can play Ludark next turn. I really dislike it when that happens, but in this case, I'm going to be okay with it. In this case, we're okay with it, because at least we get the energy back. And now we can play Ascension, we got the Conquering Host, we got everything here. The thing that you might want to consider is the AoE Chaos buff for these things. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's a crazy deck if I've seen one. That's a crazy deck. 15, 19, 22. I will see the galaxy free once more. There we go. Now we are comfortably out of his lethal range.
You gotta love how he's taking damage every time he's playing his uh, playing a card. That's why I love the Minato squad. Look at that man, that's so annoying. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's one for us. That is one game for us. It was a very rough start. I got pretty mad at the um, Remember Sir Order, but all's well that ends well. Oh my god, this this is not something I uh, I look forward to fighting. I'll be honest. But despite that, you we are going to. What's coming for you. Oh, Ludark for cheap. Nice. So let's hope he just doesn't play anything outright because that would be very annoying. We we'll drop the Basat squad, go face. I wanted him to get some HP, but fine. Asteroid build? What? Okay. I kinda get it then again, I kinda get it. He wants to get his uh, crazy strong stuff soon. Okay, you know what? This is looking pretty good. He could always use the... Mm. You know what would be terrible? If he used the Nurgle beads right now. Got this and removed this. Nope. That's he gets that. Evil to... I, think I, I think I went a little bit greedy there. I should have taken out the unit just to avoid... How much does that cost? Wait a minute. I want to see if I made a big mistake there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, succumb to decay. Sure, that was that was a big mistake by me. That was a big mistake. He could have turned the game around, like sacrifice it, steal Tishaila, Tishayal, and take out Ludark with it. That was a big misplay. Fortunately, it worked out for us. But yeah, that was a that was a pretty bad misplay. Don't do that, guys. Be careful for the. Don't leave a unit for the death guard. What's with so many death guard, by the way? Uh, reverse? Do I want reverse? No, let's replace reverse. I right, crush the weak. That's fine. Let the galaxy burn. And you find the enemy that kills you from within. So just poison. Fine. Okay, more, more damage. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. You can drop these uh, fast or flank units on the board just like that as well. Because if you can't take it out, you can just buff it next turn and smash his face into oblivion. Or that can happen, sure. Also a possibility. Not bad. That's a little bit annoying. But you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna be an absolute degenerate. And do this. Why? Because we can. Wow. 
What? You can't be real, bro. Really? You cannot be serious. You seriously took that much damage to the face? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so he had a heal, sure, but does he have a second one? I did not expect that one. The heal. Come on, now you need to take those things out. Moritat for Gal? What? Really? You want to take this out as well? Wow, this guy, man. This guy is like... This guy ain't joking. Let's do this. So, we need one more damage. No, two more damage to win. A quick shot or whatever will do. Oh, he command bridged. That's not good. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Could he take me out here? I wonder. If he has those, like, 5 damage nukes, he can take me out. Oh, God, God, I hate it when he does that. Death begets death. Oh my, did you just mess up? You just messed up. You have marked your fate by coming here. <laughs> he did not expect this. He did not expect that. I, th I think we were a bit of a jackass here <laughs> because, like, uh, going too aggro, but then again, <laughs> whatever works, man. That was funny, though. That was, that was very funny. He chose the worst possible time to emote. Okay, this is not good, by the way. And this is even worse. I need something. Uh, nope. This is not good. Oh, okay. I'll have to pass. Machine spirit. Really? I think Proctor is much better played without Machine Spirits. Death of Innocence? Nope. I guess not. Uh, my poor units.
Ooh. Ooh. Okay, bro, wait a minute. Can deal with that. Do this. And this. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's not good. Turned us into a greater demon. Because why the hell not? Because why the hell not? Oh, this guy ain't joking, you know? <laughs> This guy's not joking. Well, ah, you're done. You're officially done. Okay, 4-0. That's 4-0, right? Yes, yes, yes. Chaos Fawn, Typhon, Mortarian, Proctor. That is beautiful. That is indeed beautiful. That is a perfect. So Horus can stomp the early season at least. Ooh, someone is Giga Chad and is playing Forex. Okay, Forex. Oh, these are both so good, but we still need the uh, early game here. Let's go face. Yeah, we probably want to get rid of that. I want to do that because, uh, get rid of it like that because I can drop this and buff it. So I think probably he's going to Warlord Power here. Most probably. That's a surprise. Oh, this is perfect. This is beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. You what beats. 
I think I found the use for informant network. Let's do a little bit of aggro. Else this guy is gonna keep building walls like without an end. Attack and wreck and ruin. Okay, wreck and ruin. Catchulan Reavers, and let's buff those Catchulan Reavers. And that's gonna hurt. Precision bombardment, that's expected. Oh, and he chooses not to. Wow. I thought he'd be using his power there. Would be funny if he has nothing and has to face bash into six. That would hurt so much. I stand corrected. If this gets to nine eight nine damage, I take that out. If not, I go face. Yes. If not, I just go face. He also found the use for informant network. Oh, that I did not. I don't know, bro. Not sure about that. Yeah, he should be ready now. There's no way he has... Wait a minute. No, there's no way he has lethal. This is not for Turabo. So the best he can do is 10... 20... No, yeah. There's no way he has lethal. Physically impossible. And you know what's coming, right, boys? 5-0! Oh, he got a little angry. Okay. I would be too, because he's playing a very cool warlord and I'm playing like... I'm playing a typical monkey warlord. <laughs> okay. Monkey by I mean like I just go crazy face and just out muscle, right? It really doesn't take a lot to play Horus really well. 5-0, right? Yeah, that's 5-0. And there's Calvin Claim with Sigismund, so maybe it's time to lose. Beating these Sigismunds is the not easy. Future, there will be only war. War. Probably I know what he's gonna play, the stupid uh, charge. But the real question is, do you have the second one? Do you have the second one? I'll go face even. Do you have the second one? No. Yep. 
You do not. That's a lot of resources, brother. That's a lot of resources. Which is good for a meme. Now deal with this. That's poison. Let's get a spirited troop and buff our boy even more. No armor for you. Oh man, have I got some bad news for this guy. Have I got some bad news. Uh, you know what? Oh, come on. There were like so many good targets for that. But, fair enough. Has to use Retribution, that's perfect. Gotta love how he's still going face even though he's behind. Man's got balls, I'll give him that. Where do you play for 8? Phalanx, okay. That's unfortunate. That kind of destroys my card advantage that I was relying on a lot, but that's okay. Not a, not a, come on, go face this time, please. Guess I asked for a little too much. At least I know that his Bastion nukes are gone. This is not bad. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I got an answer to that. Here's my answer. Okay. If he has a drilling site, I'll be upset. Nope. Yeah, are you gonna? Okay, Lupercal a uh, Percivant it is. So we're one damage off lethal. That's funny. Oh, he lost. Okay. That was actually pretty good. We actually beat Siggy. That's nice. That's nice. That's what. That's a perfect. Oh, and I even top decked another lethal in case he dropped the front line. Perfect. Nice. We got 6 0, boys. 6 0. Okay, okay, okay. That's 6. Really? Wow. Let's play another one. Let's either finish on a, on a seven, 6 to 1 ratio or 7-0. Both are going to be very good.
Jesus though, man, like Horus. Wow. And it's a Horus mirror. Against some guy. In a Horus mirror, you wanna leave the conquering post. Now please do not play anything turn one. Be a good boy. What? That's a pretty trashy card. You know what happens to people who use trash cards? They take damage. Aww. He's gonna take it out. That is uh, unfortunate. Come on, give me another unit. So much for that. Overseer Ludark. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. By the way, there was no need to break that drop pod. I just got this uh, thing from Blood Angels when you just have to always pop them out of the drop pot. It's like a habit already. That's pretty useless units. Or is it? Is it, boys? Is it? Ekron Fall. I am going to play Ekron Fall. This game looks like something like uh, who's gonna run out of steam first? Who's gonna drop the first big bad card without counterplay? Oh, nice. Nice, nice. That's good. That's good. That's pretty good that it, that that thing happened. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And we're going to pass. Just keep it here. Now he plays that bad boy. That goes to 8 HP, right? That's a lot. Here's the thing. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna take a lot of damage, as you know, but... This way I kinda guarantee that the board stays on my side, right? Because if I had buffed my unit, chances were that was not gonna get to 8 HP. Because he got the mark of Nurgle. So, it's a much better call to just take some damage but get your board like 100%. What's with this guy always getting the that specific mark? Uh, please give me... Yes. My... Uh... Cries have been heard. Do I use Death Dealers? Yes. Now, if you have no hard removal, you forfeit. If you do have hard removal, the game goes on. What's with the temptation plays, bro? Yeah, that card is not getting to 10 even if it gets the best marks of chaos, so I don't really mind. I don't mind that at all. Now he could pop a planetary, uh, never mind. That's a pretty, that's a pretty bad move. 
bad move as in like not good for me. That's not good. He actually made the combo. I will see the galaxy three once more. What's my damage here? 10, 22. It will be short. I don't think he needed to surrender. I think he still had some chances. Okay. So, boys, observe. 7 0 with Horus Lupercal. What do you say? I think this is pretty damn uh, strong. So, that's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, crazy deck right there. I don't know, of course, how good this is gonna be once you hit like very high ranks, but hey. If you're playing for <coughs> early season and want to do something effective and fun, this is the deck for you. So, thanks a lot. Be seeing you next time, boys.